Okay, that's enough. That's enough praise, thank you. You know, how much praise? Jimmy Kimmel, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, just for that, I'm gonna be on Conan, you know? <laughs> so I, you know, here are my notes. Thank AFI friends, family and colleagues for coming. Try to be sincere. Okay. <laughs> this says, I grew up in a tenement at 365 South 3rd Street. Everyone there was either working or destined to end up working in the garment center. But I took a road less traveled, movies, and they saved me. Movies saved my life, they rescued my soul. No matter what was bad or wrong, it could be wiped out on Saturday morning. There is no other, and this, oh, I don't want to, well, I'll be a little bullshit sentimental. There is no, but there is no other organization in existence that actually really can compare with the work that AFI is doing for the art of film. They are the cinema police. They really are the cinema police. They protect and serve the past and the future of movies. Listen, it is incumbent upon last year's honoree, which will be me next year, to come back and toast the AFI's new Life Achievement Award recipient. That would be next year. I don't want to have to do this again. I don't have to wear this tux and this phony tie. And so with your permission, I'd like to preemptively toast <laughs> next year's honoree so I don't have to come back, okay? Listen, he or she is a remarkable creative force <laughs> who has had a huge impact on my life and career. I've known him or her for over 20 years and can honestly say that he or she is the only person that I've never been jealous of because when somebody is truly talented, you just have to salute it. So here's to you for a well-deserved award and to the AFI, you finally got it right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much.